Well, in my imagination, people will soon realize that what they really yearn for is communities and neighborhoods where you can walk to things, where you know people. I mean, I am here working every day. People know that I care about, I have special dishes that I fix for specific people. When Mr. Mallory comes in to see a movie, I have a specific sandwich that I make for him because of his dietary restrictions. He keeps coming back for that sandwich because he loves that about it. I have another client that comes in every afternoon and he has his own salad that he wants me to make. We do what the people want and we listen to them and they appreciate that. But it's all about the people. And um, I just don't think that a place like a Starbucks or a, or a McDonald's has that in mind. They don't really affect more. No, I don't think so. Even if there was, I, I really truly believe that even if there was a Starbucks right across the street, I, I would still not be affected. And I know a lot of people very much fear because Starbucks does get their coffee for one cent a pound. So, of course, they can do whatever they want with their prices, but look how much they're inflating their prices. Yeah. Their prices are higher than mine, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I have to pay a couple bucks a pound. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually using different kinds of coffee and good coffee, yeah. and I'm dealing with uh, co I use co-op that deals directly with the farmers in these various countries, so it's all fair trade. They have a specialty fair trade which they like to say they do fair trade and it's, a, it's really a misrepresentation because they're not doing all of their trade and they're only doing a very small part of their trade and they're still inflating the prices to higher than anybody else even though they pay less than anybody else. So, um, and people say the quality is even going down from what it once was also is another thing that I've heard. Well, and also I think that, you know, say in New York City, where real estate is really high, Starbucks can afford to come in to tell the landlord that they will pay three times what the little mom and pop coffee house can pay, so when their lease comes due, of course the landlord is wanting to make that extra money. They'll let the Starbucks go in there, but in the long run, the, 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 the Starbucks is going to have a short shelf life. In New York City, they've gotten rid of all the small places and people bemoan that because there's no sense of community anymore, you know? Um, I suppose you probably could. You could try to have uh, groups get together and meet there, but this has happened organically. Yes. Groups come to me and say, we want to have a book club, we want to have a movie club, we want to have poetry readings, we want to, have, we want to show our art. This man right here, we have monthly art shows, and he's showing his art this month. Every month we have a new art show. That's like Shake It Down in Northside. They had such a great business plan right from the beginning, and it's, they give, they right away put it in their business plan that they were going to take care of their employees, and they right away got the insurance, and nobody who has ever worked there has ever quit. They're all still working there, and it's a great success story what they've been able to, to develop, and, in, and by them being a success, because they care about the community, and they give back, and they always will because they're from the community and the people who shop there come from there and it spreads and it grows and they've now, Northside is now having more and more of the small businesses and people are very conscious of that and that would be probably an excellent prototype if somebody wanted to study an area that was blighted and is now turning into something very real and very on a human level. The little places that people have started up, or each one of them, are, it's that person's personality coming to yeah. life. Yeah. And people love it, and they want to share with that and support that. Yeah. And they do really pay attention to what you want. If there's anything they don't have that you want, yes. they'll do it. That's true. That's very true. It's very true. Yeah, yeah. see, now almost everybody here, these people come in, she comes in all the time. They're trying to, you know, they come in all the time, and then our lunch, it doesn't even start until 1 o'clock, and when it happens, then it goes up the Very European. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> in this place, I don't sell coffee before 10 o'clock in the morning. I sell more coffee after 10 o'clock at night to the students. I mean, we're packed. In this place from 1 o'clock in the afternoon to 1 is going to be packed. And so it's almost, it feels like everybody's on a vacation or something. It's like fairyland, you know, because I mean, you know, students have a lot of time, of course. Yeah. But it's a different, a different energy. Yeah.